food safety has become a global concern, which calls for improvement of food systems to respond to consumer demands. Amidst this, post-harvest losses are still high, especially for food crops such as maize. Shelling of maize is a critical post-harvest stage, which leads to significant losses. The traditional process of shelling maize, mainly done by women and children, is punctuated by so much hustle. From the toil of the harvest to the strain in pounding the maize. Furthermore, traditional shelling of maize increases work burden for women, since they are also responsible for household chores. In Mayuga town, eastern Uganda, Mr. Munyangera, a local fabricator, has developed a motorized maize shower to mitigate post-harvest losses. Here's how the motorized maize sheller has impacted different agricultural value chain actors. How is that I have four shellers. Uh, they have helped most of the use around here. Uh, are employed and they are earning at least per season. I have managed to uh, give uh, 16 use to work on those sellers during selling services. And actually, approximately each can earn like 750,000 in like eight, eight weeks. Uh, I said if I can earn at least 10 million net from those sellers. Ever since I joined the cooperative, where there is a good sheller, within a thing of an eye, I shell like a uh, hundred bags within one day. And this has helped me as a mother. The time I would spend on the other side looking for how to shell the maize. This time I'm giving it to the children because I use less time. Quality, we have sorted it out by proper shelling of maize, proper post-harvest handling, whereby no maize is allowed to be on the ground, otherwise you bring a flotoxin. These machines have become a source of income to our society. Munyegela is a typical example that uh, local innovators can also compete with uh, imports. Uh, such manufacturers need to be supported uh, to address the challenges that stop them from reaching to scale. Uh, but most importantly, we need to come up with special financing models that can enable youth to access these technologies and create jobs for them. A gratitude of thanks to IFAD and AGRA for funding this documentary under the SSTC grant.